gonna hang out here all, all afternoon. What do you think? Kind of feeling it. Uh, hello, hi, it's time for Fallout once again. Uh, we are here, I'm here. I am Brad, hello. Good to meet you. Nice to see you fine people. Uh, at least I hope you're all fine people. Don't want any unsavory characters here on this stream, please. Uh, all right, well, we're right back in it here. Um, somehow, somehow events have conspired once again to keep me away from this game for like a month. But uh, <clears throat> we're going to do our best to dive back in here and uh, see what's going on in the hub. Yes, somehow Fallout returned. <laughs> it has a way of doing that. Um... I think it was, was it the very last stream that I delivered that water chip? I think it was. Uh, if, as I recall, we had just gotten to the hub pretty much at the end of last time. Um, so I think there's plenty to find and do in here. Such as, for example, visiting the Crimson Caravan. They do a lot of high risk jobs. Caravan guard, caravan guard, Demeter. Hi. Head of the best damn caravan in the wastes. Or I, am I looking for a job? I look pretty fit. That's very flattering. Thank you. Um, I can't say I agree, but bolts flying everywhere, whipping by your head, blowing your enemy in two. Hmm. I need a water chip. I think I've said this before. The dialogue is maybe not the most reactive in this game to your place in the story. Uh, 600 hub bucks. Is that different from caps? Hmm. Sure. Locked carry. Wait, what about those missing caravans? Why do I have a thing about missing caravans? Was that right when I got into town? I think somebody told me something about that. Hmm. So how much does that job pay? I'm, I'm just in full on side quest mode here. Let's just rack up every quest we can find. Oh wait, is this even a separate quest? Maybe not. All right, maybe this is all dovetailing into the, the same thing. Who do we have here? Hi, Carrie. Balls of steel. Um, wait, do I actually have to worry about the day of the month? Third and seventeenth. Huh. Hmm. <laughs> what? What is this about? Are there romance options in this game? I don't believe. I don't believe the innovations in romance technology had taken place by the time uh, this game came out, but maybe. Um, April 3rd? Hmm. Alright. Well, huh. Oh god, they do track the month. I was, I completely forgot about that. Obviously, I knew they tracked a number of days, but... Uh, I guess I had never paid attention to the calendar date on here. Um, did she give a time? Did she just say April 3rd? I guess I'll just come back early-ish on the 3rd. Weird. I was not expecting some kind of timed quest like that. But sure, why not? Um, boy. This this little spot here is not what I would call easily navigable. I feel like, uh... 
I think there are things about the isometricness of this game that I feel like could be a little better. Like, is this open right here? I don't think so. Doesn't look like it. No. Can't even see the floor there. Kind of tough to see where you're going sometimes. Anyway. Looks like we have a bar down here. General store. What is FLC? Let's ask Guido. He's speaking in red. Probably means I don't want to mess with him. Okay. Well, let's just mosey on in and see what's up. Uh, what kind of door is that? Whoa, hello. I'm not a freak, I just like to try every door I see. Lorenzo the Munificent. Um, I don't think I need to engage this man's services. Deathclaw. Man, am I going to meet a Deathclaw? Wait, is there a Deathclaw? Is it not just like a... Was, huh. Decker. Do not remember who Decker is. Um... Alright. Local police. Uh, children of the cathedral. Can't be a good CRPG without some kind of cult, right? Morpheus? Huh. In the boneyard, you say. Okay. Alright, don't really care. You seem kind of like an asshole. Hmm. Okay, maybe I have not met Decker yet. Hmm. Alright, well, later. Okay, do we have actual quests yet? Find the missing caravans. I assume that's the April 3rd one, right? Or was that more of an escort mission? I do not know. This guy's also talking red. Not so sure about this. going to give you the business. I'm always tempted to start fights like that, but I hate locking myself out of things, options, you know. for a certain commodity if you know what I mean. Hmm. Are those dialogue options pertaining to the water chip? I mean, my character didn't come out and say it, but that's kind of what it sounds like. Uh... I kind of wish you would just remove those after you've already got the thing. But anyway. Um, alright, I guess I should meet this Decker character. A drunk. 
A very upset in candle order. Another very upset gambler. Is there any other kind? Roulette dealer. Sure. I just made five caps. All right. Um, who do we have here? A very pretty lady. Oh. And a guy who is a mercenary. Pepe Fry. Okay, I don't think these people are. <laughs> I'm sorry, what combo would that be? <laughs> All right. Another Merc. Where is this Decker guy? The dude said across the street, but I guess Kane. I guess across the street could mean multiple places. Whoa! My reputation has preceded me. I am the one who took out Gizmo over in Junktown. Hmm. Not skag work, that's for sure. Hmm. All right. Wait, who am I talking to? Whoa, hello. So, you're looking for a job. How fortunate. I have one that needs doing. Oh my God. Ah, oh, but where are my manners? What's your name? It's him. It's him. Well, the pleasantries are now concluded. Do you wish to hear about the job? Sure. Back sure. There's a certain merchant who's, how to phrase this, not cooperating fully with the underground. Okay. Quite simple. Hunt down the merchant and his wife. And exterminate them. Hmm. Hmm. It's standard pay. 500 caps to start. Another 2,500 when the job is done. Will you do it? That's more than all of the money I have right now. Um. Should I... Should I do this? This game doesn't have a morality system as such, right? It's got a reputation system. Correct. I guess I could maybe piss off the wrong people by doing a thing like this. That's a lot of money, though. Very nice. The merchant lives in the Heights on Barter Street and Thunder Avenue. Your initial pay will be handed to you on your way out. All right, well, I guess I'm committed. But at least I met Keith David. Is there a better voice than Keith David on this earth? Probably not. Probably not. Um, I can think of some similarly amazing voices. Lance Reddick, personal favorite. Rest in peace. It's absolutely tragic. Fucking love listening to that guy talk. <laughs> um, who's the guy that just came up on Twin Peaks? Wasn't oh god, Ricky? Not Ricky. To Tony? Tony J? Somebody J? Not Ricky J. Who am I thinking of? <laughs> Maybe it was Ricky J, or Tony J. I'm, I'm seeing both in the chat. Oh, Ricky Jay is the, okay, is the magic guy, yes. It must be Tony Jay, I believe. Didn't we see him in a movie on the Watchcast recently? Is he, actually, is he in this game? <laughs> he might also be in this game now that I think about it. I think he is. Um. 
Tony J is in fact in Fallout, I am told. All right. Um, a lot of questions about Decker. Okay, so he does own the bar, but I did not see him in there. Hmm. Okay, well, that sounds rough. That was not Decker in the basement that I just met, was it? Keith, Keith, Keith David is not Decker, is he? Um, stay far away from Maltese Falcon, Decker and Kane, Lorenzo. I met him as well. All right. What do you have while we're here? Whoa, metal armor. Um, I'm guessing there's no way to see stats on armor until you buy it and equip it, correct? A club? And eh, I'm not really doing melee this run. I don't think that's necessary. Probably, man, sledgehammer? Maybe I should have done melee. <laughs> How viable is melee? If you if you spec all the way into it, is it just as good as anything else in this? I would hope. Man, brass knucks, throwing knife. Got one of those. Ooh, that's a lot of ammo. BPs. Got that knife. All right. I think I'm probably good for now, unless I need ammo. Except. She doesn't have 10 mil, does she? It's just 223, right? And shotgun shells? Hmm. Well, hooey. Uh, forty-four. What do I have that even shoots 223? I cannot remember. Uh could sell her the scorpion tail. For a whole ten dollars. Why not? That is a good trade. All right. Let's move along. <laughs> the family eating place. Always love going down to the old family eating place on Friday. Uh, who is Doc Morbid? Wait, when did this happen? This wasn't in Junk Town, was it? Okay, I guess I'm not talking to this guy anymore. <laughs> yep, all right. That was that, apparently. Um, I'm kind of losing track of everything I need to do here in terms of who I should talk to about what. Like, Kane told me to go talk to Decker, right? There's the lady that needs me to come back on the third. And I think there was something else. Oh, okay. That was his boss. That's right. Actually, sorry. One more time. Wait, I need you to tell me where they are because I totally didn't pay attention the first time you said it. God damn it. Hmm. Oh, Doc Morbid was the guy in Junktown. That's cool. Little mini quest lines that span multiple towns. I'm 
not sure that I'm sold on killing this merchant and his wife. Uh, but also, I'm guessing it might, at this point, cause trouble for me if I don't. Let's we'll see what's up in here. He's got jobs. Come what on. do you want? Ooh. Time is money, chit chat is not money. You hear about the job or what? That voice also sounds familiar. Well, some caravans have been disappearing on us lately. Damn if anyone can figure out what happened to them. Simple. Find out who's doing it and tell me. Or take them out. Makes no damn difference. Oh, this to is me. just get that job done. Okay. I <laughs> Apparently Ron Perlman. <laughs> I didn't consider he would also be a character in this because he did the intro narration, but sure. Why not? Well, there's, uh, <clears throat> something, but I never listen to those rumors. You, uh, you really want to It's the Death this? Claw. Well, some say it's the Death Claw. But I don't know nothing about that. Listen, you. I ain't scared. I'm cautious. You'd be stupid not to be with the death claw. Look, go talk to Beth. She'll tell you more. Okay. Done and done. Now get on out of here. But come back and talk to me when you found something. Wait, did we discuss pay? All right, well, anyway, who's Beth? Uh, well, what do you got for me? Well, you're a bright one, ain't you? Here's the job. Find out who's stealing my caravans. Money. Big. You fail. Hurt. Big. Understand? Now get out of here. All right, well, that seems definitive. Who is Beth, though? Did I misunderstand? Well, that's totally useless building. Oh, um... Gosh, who was it in chat? I think last time we did this, or maybe the time before, was saying there's a very good pistol to be had in this town. Anybody know anything about that? By chance? Now let's keep exploring. The Blade Runner pistol? I don't know. I can't remember what they said it was exactly. They just said it was one of the best small arms in the game. A skag. What is a skag? Dare I ask. What's up, Slappy? Hmm. Why is the moon? Uh, yeah. I always say that. Alright. I like Slappy. Like we got ourselves a ghoul here. I should probably pay more attention to the environment and things to loot or pick up. But anyway. Spare change, old friend, Whoa. old pal. Can you help a poor mutant down on his luck? <coughs> hmm. Tempted to give this guy 25 bucks. I don't know why. Oh, kind of your friend. Very kind. You know, if I could clear the gunk out of there, you uh, just might find a tear in old Harold's eye. <laughs> Rest of the hubbard's been picking on me like a bad booger since I came back to town. I can't leave, though. 
when the deals are done. It's still my home. Vector asks, do you remember the talking tree ghoul in Fallout 3? I super do not, but I have read about that at some point in the not-so-distant past. Uh, I assume this is him. Oh, Fahad says that was New Vegas. Okay, I guess there's a good reason I don't remember that. Well, nope, uh-oh, debate is raging. About which game the talking tree ghoul is in. Now... After the Great War, my vault was one of the first to open. <sighs> Phew. Long time. Ooh. All started with the sirens. Lord up. I was young, but ooh, I do remember that. A lot of terrible years followed. And I remember walking out of the vault late one morning. Well, uh, I was a traitor. Did pretty good making a circuit between survivors. Lost a lot of good people, though. <coughs> uh, gangers got them. Scavengers attacking the caravans and mutants. Son of a dog, if they weren't springing up like rabbits with a mission. <coughs> Had to have an army of guards with just to do a deal. Of course, they helped you, bonehead. Just too damn many to handle. Didn't. Got killed. <laughs> Love that joke. <laughs> we mounted an expedition. God, Richard. Richard Gray led a small group of us up there. Richard Gray was a doctor. A little older than me, and Fran was he smart. He found the source. Some sort of old military base. Hmm. We lost a lot of folks getting in there. Because it was like someone went bargain shopping at Mutant Land. Whew, cheaper by the dozens. Can't figure any other reason except that being the factory. We got pretty far inside. Wasn't a lot of us left by then. Gray, me, and a couple of others. One of them robots got Francine. Mark was wounded, sent him back to the surface. Then it was just me and Gray. To this day, I don't know. He never made it back here, and, well, I couldn't face the wasteland again, so I, I never looked. We made it to some sort of central core, like a plant of some sort. That's when it happened. Man, this is serious. A robot crane crashed into us. Last I saw Gray, he was flying through the air and into some sort of acid bath. Yikes. I was in bad shape and, well, I passed out. Is this pre ghoulification for him, I'm guessing? Didn't. Got killed. <laughs> Joke. <laughs> this guy's great. Well, I have no idea. Woke up in the wasteland, barely hanging on. Got lucky, and some traders I knew found me days later. Good thing, since I was already changing. They brought me here, and here I've been since. All I know is it was something inside that base. How the hell should I know? Gray would have known if anybody could. <sighs> anyway, that's how the deal went down. Well, thanks for letting me tell it. I think there were a bunch of other options I wanted to hear. Oh, hey, it's you ah. again. <laughs> Anything I can do for you? Oh, man. There were so many dialogue choices I didn't get to do. I wanted to hear more of his story. Oh, hey, it's you again. Can I just keep giving him money? Anything I can do for you? Oh, hey, it's All right. you again. I'm going to stop. Oh, God, right. Thank you for the reminder. I always forget there's a text parser in this game. Um, Brilliant guy. A doctor and philosopher. Long ago, he led the expedition where I got changed into a mutant. 
were just talking about her. And him. Uh... Hmm. Well? What will you recognize? Um... Alright. Not a lot of, uh... Ask about Richard Gray. Yeah, I just did. Brilliant guy. Let's see. A doctor um, and philosopher. Long ago, he led the expedition where I got changed into a mutant. Oh, Sergeant Mustang in the Twitch chat says you can get the two two three pistol here in the hub. That must be the pistol that somebody else was talking about. I should find that. Also, somebody asking uh, Vector asking if I ever rescued Tandy. I don't believe I did. <laughs> um. Anything I can do for you? All right. Bye, Harold, I guess. Um, man, I wish this... I mean, I, I like this game, and I think the storytelling, and especially the voice acting, are quite good, generally, but I wish there was more of that. I guess, you know, say, say what you will about the Bethesda games, but they do have a fair amount of people just talking at length about their time during the war and stuff like that. I would just love to hear more of that kind of stuff. I wish I could talk to him more about the stuff he was just telling me. Uh, anyway, I should find that 223, I guess. i also take stock of all the, the many tasks that are quickly piling up here. Okay, I'm supposed to murder that dude. Go find that missing caravan. I swear, wasn't there another job I was on the trail of here? I need to go find Tandy. Let's see, I think I'm good there and there. Uh, huh, right. God, there's a lot to do. <laughs> I think I'm, I'm just gonna have to pick something and focus on it. Uh, first things first, let's get that gun. If anybody can uh, guide me in the appropriate direction. Don't I have a ton of 223 ammo? Maybe not. Oh, no. I have almost none, actually. Um, should I sell that spear? I haven't specced into melee at all, so is it even worth keeping melee around? I mean, I guess it's theoretically I could run out of bullets at some point. Alright. Thank you, Sergeant Mustang, apparently looking, and Johnny Fast, looking for somebody named Irwin. goes on in this building. Hmm. All right. What is that? Rat away. Should I get some of that? How much is one rat away? A lot. Good God, man. Uh, buff out. I can't remember what that does. Psycho is some kind of drug, right? Rad X, boy, booze, super stem pack. All right, you don't have anything I think I super need at the moment. What if I sold you the spear though? Oh wait, you don't have money, do you? Shit. All right, never mind. Thanks for nothing. Right, Thug, Vance. Let's keep looking for this Irwin character. J. 
Jacob. Hmm. This town is huge. Uh, whoa. Explosive rockets. Flamer. Pulse grenade, rocket launcher. Hmm. Combat armor, huh? I heard that's good. It looks heavy, though. Got a Geiger counter, huh? Good lord, that is most of my money. That does sound awfully useful, though. Aha! This is the guy with the ammo. Okay, good to know. Combat combat shotgun. Does it real? 14 millimeter pistol. Three, good. Uh, ten millimeter. A lot of ten millimeter. No nine millimeter. Man, I have not seen nine millimeter ammo in a while. Wait, did you have anything else to say? Hmm. The gun runners in the bone yard. All right, have yet to meet the Brotherhood of Steel. Have I been to the Boneyard? I cannot remember. Nope. Where is this Irwin feller? can't see the door to click on it. Shit. There we go. Lockpick skill paying dividends. Except I'm not sure who I'm talking to here. Oh, no, that's one of my companions. I just want to get through the door. Sense that there is a trap near. Is that a skill? Or is that is that a um oops, what is good god, what is it? There it is. Is that some kind of like perception check or something that's popping that? Uh I sure have gotten off of my regular save routine. Hang on. Let's just do a little refresher here before I do something stupid. Right. Yes. Hey! Shit! Wait, did the dog just set that off? Damn. Um... Alright, well... I don't know what to call this one. Lots of jobs. I don't think anybody got hurt too badly on that one. Let me see. Nine, eight, two. Yeah, that's all right. Whoa. Who do we have here? Good God. All right. This is going to be a problem. Um, hello, maybe that's the last one. <laughs> I hope. These people may not take too kindly to me barging in here. Well, let's find out. 
Hello. Who's the circle? Hmm. All right. Hi. Bye. This is an odd one. Circle of thieves, I see. Oxley. Bloody fine job making it through the defenses, mate. Yikes. I'm rather impressed. Toss me your name. Uh, could I have disarmed those? Was there a way to not just blow up? Anyway, this guy seems high energy. Quite pleased to make your acquaintance, actually. For now. Let's get the other bit of politeness taken care of, shall we? What the bloody, bloody, bloody hell are you doing here? Yikes. You must be joking. You think I'd fall for a line like that? Get out, you commoner. Okay. Bloody fine job making it through the defenses, mate. I'm rather impressed. Toss me your name. It's a little gift from me, darn mum. Actually, a few generations before that. Do you like it? Why, thank you. Have to work a bit to keep it with so little refinement about, don't you know? But enough of that. Loxley's the name, and yours is. This is the famous Thieves Circle. I thought you would have known this, seeing as how you made it through all the defenses and whatnot. But no matter, you're quite promising, and the Circle could use someone like you. Hmm. Not sure I want to throw in with a gang of thieves. It's being suggested that I kill this man. He has the best armor in the game on him. You must be joking. Hmm. Tempting. Very tempting. I'm not sure I see a whole lot of value in uh, continued relations with this guy. This guy's apparently the voice of Johnny Bravo. Bloody fine job making it through the defenses, mate. I'm rather impressed. This is the famous Thieves Circle. Quite simple, really. You prove yourself as a thief, succeed, and the world is yours. If not, then you'll never see us again. Except if you come looking. And if you don't understand, that last bit is a threat. Okay, he threatened me, now I have license to kill him. Oh, what do you take me for? If you want cold-blooded murder, talk to Decker and his lot. If you fail, which seems much more likely at this point, we will simply disappear. Now then, care to try or not? It's so, so simple. In the Heights, you'll find Darren Hightower's home all plump and ripe for the picking. Are you ready for life? Do you accept the challenge? Sure. Let's see where this goes. That's the spirit, mate. Just talk to Jasmine in the room outside this chamber. She'll give you details, a map, and a few little goodies to help you on your way. But remember, if you even think about ratting us out to the cops, we'll be a memory before they arrive. But enough gloom. Cheerio, good luck, and ta-ta. Okay. All right. Suppose I could always do their business and then kill him? Hmm. Okay, they want a necklace. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Okay, now I'm... 
M M Tosh, I'm not sure how to say your username, is now telling me not to kill this guy. There's only a chance for the armor to drop. All right, fair enough. All right, where is this Irwin character? Nobody in there. Oh, it looks like a gun though. Not a gun. Am I am I going crazy? That sure does look like a rifle. Well, nope, maybe not. Anyway. Different part of town, it sounds like. Okay, where have I not been yet? Uh, seems like I might have been everywhere. Maybe I missed him. Did I go in here? here. Come on, game. You can do it. There you go. Uh, Alright, I've still got like a day and change before that caravan mission departs. Oh, when did I level? I don't remember that. Um, hmm. Well, uh, do I remember from last time people were saying like kind of going past a hundred on a given skill is kind of a waste or not super worth it. That sounds like something somebody said. Um, I feel like I'm not failing a lot of lockpicks at this point. I'm not sure it's worth... Uh... Oh wow, 75 is the max you need for any skill check? Alright, well that... Or actually, I mean, small guns is not a skill check, right? I assume that scales with skill? Or maybe I'm already good on that one. Um, hmm. I guess maybe a little more sneak wouldn't hurt. Uh, hmm. more trap skill. Yes, I have gotten some energy weapons, now that you mention it. Or an, an energy weapon, I think. I think my companions might be carrying those. Um, there. Why not? Because I also got a flamethrower, and I'm guessing that's a big gun. Irwin might be at the south end of one of these maps. There he is! Hmm. Uh-oh. Man, poor Pugsley.
Okay. Oh shit. Well, I'm still not used to this whole thing of um, talking to people. Just what? Wait a minute. Hang on. Did I miss something? What day was it before? Yeah, it was April 1st. What the fuck? How did I just advance two weeks in time? Oh my god. Uh... Well, I guess I'm not doing that April 3rd job. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I think she said they leave twice a month, right? So I'm probably... Probably okay. So just try later. We're just kind of going in here guns blazing. Is that the story? Uh oh, well, this is happening. Uh. to coordinate right now. Alright, I guess we're just doing a lot of fighting here. Good thing I saved it. Um, shit. This could be going better. Uh, oh shit. Well... No vats for me. Ouch. Seems like this could go badly. Alright, well, that's one raider down. <laughs> it's kind of fun having to just interpret what's going on in there. Not a great percentage, but anyway. All right. Get him, dog. Oh, well, thanks, dude. Cool. got here. That's Tycho. That's Ian. You're a raider who just happens to look exactly like Ian. Sure. Do not kill my fucking dog. Ow. Get him. Get him. Yes. Uh... How many free movement points do I get? Should be good, right? What is that? Can I get one more? All right. There we go. Uh, all right, well, I got 10 hit points. That seems bad. Guessing I should probably stem here. Shit, I need to put a stem in my inventory to use it right. I don't think I've ever stemmed before. Is that how this works? There it is. Well, I can't shoot now. Boy. I think I did that, I guess. What is Ian doing? He is just standing there. 
Yeah, fuck this guy. Oh, come on. Man. It's like I keep healing. God damn it. Uh, does anybody know why Ian is kind of not contributing to this fight? <laughs> this is kind of a bummer. Yeah, I, I did consider he might be out of ammo. Should be very unfortunate. Shit, I meant to do the Vats thing. Oh well. Um, just keep hiding around this corner. Nope. Well, that's that. Let's try that again. Not even the carrion eaters are interested in your radiated corpse. Bummer. I think I saved it when I got there. Okay, let's not initiate that combat encounter just yet. Uh... You have got, that's right, flamer, laser rifle, uh, and Ian has, kind of nothing, except dynamite. All right, um, uh, somebody in chat was just saying that followers don't have ammo in this. Is that correct? Well, anyway. Should I maybe take one of these big weapons? Like, for example, this laser rifle. Uh, there we go. Is this how I take it from him? Uh, I gave you that rifle, dude. <laughs> um. Right. You have to steal it from him. Uh, I'm being told the followers do need ammo. Wait, so how much does Tycho have? Got eight shells, and that's it. I am also out of shells. Oh no, I'm not. There we go. Uh, how much is a stack? Twenty, sure. You can have those. Let's see what Ian is or is not working with. Uh, now, I don't see his equipped weapon here, is that correct? I don't think I do. Which is kind of a bummer, because now I don't know what to... Well, he's got... He's got a fair amount of 10 millimeter. I guess I could give him another stack. But he should be fine. him with the mouth. Aha! Yes. Wait, no? Oh, that's me. Hang on. Nope. Is there no way to see what he's got equipped? Maybe not. Anyway. I think at minimum I'm going to throw this grenade on. Although I am tempted to grab that laser rifle. Yeah, why not? Oops. I 
Is the stealing thing an exploit? Or a bug? I mean, is that considered, like, not intended by the developers? Kind of a weird thing. Anyway. Um, alright. <laughs> That's pretty much the way to do it. Fallout 1 was extremely rushed. That makes sense. Alright, uh... This isn't like a two-slot weapon or something, right? Hmm... Yeah, let's throw it on. Oh, it's only five. Wow. Interesting. Man, I sure wish I could get that last, uh, that last AP somehow. Being able to shoot most of my guns twice per turn would be pretty great. Anyway. All right, let's give this a shot. Oh, I wouldn't. Well, nope. Started to say, I wonder if I could sneak into one of these side rooms and deal with them first, but I don't think so. There's a lot of people here. I sure wish I could lure them out without my... Let me see. If I back away from this door, my companions are just going to rush in, right? What if we all just fanned out here and waited for them to come at us one by one? Let's just find out. Hmm. Yeah, no. Okay, this is not gonna cut it. I know I can change formation on the NPCs, but I don't think they'll do what I want them to do anyway. Hmm. What if... Yes, yes, yes. Oh, fuck! Does opening doors take AP? Man. I really wanted to throw this grenade at these guys. Oh well. Boo. Bummer. How can I play this? Okay, that's Ian. If I hit this guy with a grenade, it might hit all three of them. Well, I'm not sure grenades actually do as much damage as I think they do, but... Uh, okay. One or two of those movement points are free. I can't remember. That should still be enough. Yeah. Sure. Let's give it a try. Hell yeah! That was sad. <laughs> You're not very nice. Uh, yeah, you missed. Shithead. Oh wow, that straight killed one of them. That's cool. Yeah. Come on, Ian. All right. Laid two of them out now. Um, hmm. What do we got? A guy here, a guy here. Two more over here. This one is just melee, I believe. I'm going to fall back here. Oh, don't kill my, any of my companions, please, please, please. Dog, it's not getting that knockdown so much anymore.
Wait, what was that? <laughs> I attacked this dude, and then he died. <laughs> oh. Oops, Raider was hit instead of Raider. Alright. Um, is there a good way to track companions' hit points? Although they actually they seem to be healing just fine on their own. So maybe not a big deal. Alright, yeah, this is going a lot better this time. Get him. Man. Alright. Bam! Fucking wrecking crew here. <laughs> Went probably about as well as could be hoped for. Hmm. All right. Let's start here and work our way across. Money and a knife. Money. Whoa, hell yeah. Do I have a do I have a desert eagle yet? I don't think I do. Right? That seems like a big deal. Of course, I'm about to go get an even better pistol, apparently, so whatever, but... Another shotgun, or actually, was that a different shotgun that I've already had? Nope, just a shotgun. Brass Nux! Sorry, Spiked Nux! Oh, duh, yes. Upgrade for Ian, of course. Why didn't I think of that? Oh, there's a body I missed. Holy shit. What is that? 14mm pistol? Man, I'm really just coming up with some stuff here. Stim packs? Just the works. Desert Eagle point four four. People are saying that gun is also great. Which one? The Desert Eagle or the 14mm? Is that armor? What is that? Metal armor, holy shit. Uh, do I want to can companions wear armor? I can't. I think I probably asked that last time. And I do not remember. Because even if I don't wear that metal armor, maybe one of them should. Why don't you take... Uh, that. And... That. And I should sell that spear. Hmm. Companions cannot wear armor. That is a bummer. Can I pick it up yet? Okay. <laughs> uh, oops. All right. Let's see. AC of 24.
Huh. Wait. Apparently not as good as what I was wearing, although... Are these just kind of basic resists? I assume. I'm not sure which is better. 35 pounds versus 8 pounds. Jeez. How are we feeling about this metal armor? I'm not sure I 100% understand. I mean, is AC literally just a linear, like, higher number better? And if that's the case, do these resists offset the reduction in armor class? All right. Not a lot of fans of the metal armor in chat, it seems. I'll take it with me and sell. Okay, um, Ian is going to get, actually, hang on. Let me take stock again. Should look at some actual numbers here. Um, should reload this, or unload this while I'm thinking about it. Okay. Uh, does it not show what the damage of the weapon is unless you equip it? Okay, 10 to 16. 12 to 22. Man, that's serious. Um, let's see. That's a good bit of 14 millimeter. It's quite a bit more. 44. Might give him that 44 and keep the 14 millimeter for myself. I think is the way I want to go. I have, uh, uh, my, my RPG hoarding instinct is kicking in and now I'm looking and I'm like, man, I'm never going to use this hunting rifle, am I? Probably never going to use a shotgun. I should probably just start selling some of this stuff. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think I will give Ian... Desert Eagle. And some ammo. How much is a stack? Eight. All right. Hmm. Ah, that's actually take one of those back. Now, should I take his other gun from him? If I tell him, what do I have to tell him? Equip your best weapon? To make him use it? This is a little bit odd. Uh, okay. Did that just tell him to use the Desert Eagle? Has he equipped it? Really not clear. <laughs> I guess I could just take everything from him that's not the Desert Eagle. I guess there's really no reason for him to have multiple guns if he's only going to use one of them. Uh, I have to go sell. I've got to go sell some of this crap. This is getting kind of silly. Uh, anything else to loot here before I go? Doesn't look like it. Pretty sure I got all the bodies. Let's just... Quadruple check. Yep. Come on now. Alright. Alright. I think we're good here. Poor Pugsley. Serve better. Ian, bro, come on.
All right, well, I think we're good here. All right, and we're back. Uh, I'm gonna go sell stuff before I talk to that guy again. What time is it? Oh, you're open all hours. Oh, that's Beth, okay. Let's sell some stuff. I don't see myself using that spear. Should probably sell the knife, but I wish you could see how much stuff weighs in this interface. I kind of feel like I should have one melee weapon just in case. Is that silly? I don't know. Um, oh, I didn't take the shotguns off of Ian, did I? Um... Somebody was saying to sell one of my lockpicks, is that correct? You just need one? At any given time? Also only need one first aid kit? Are those like... Multiple use? Maybe I'm not clear how those work. All right, I'm being told no, no melee weapons necessary. And I guess I'm not gonna run into any melee companions that I'm gonna need to outfit either. Hmm. Oh, first aid kits are in fact not consumable. Okay, oh wait, did I sell that? I forget about it already. Anyway, um, somebody said to sell the 9mm pistol, but that's the only 4 AP gun I have at the moment. Which means it's the only gun I can use as a second shot on a turn. I feel like maybe I should hang on to it until I either get more AP or more guns. I don't know. You tell me. Oh, wait. Weird. Alright, I'm pretty close to cleaning her out, actually probably stop there or I guess I could take some more of her stuff oh I can sell that armor how much is that armor worth way too much nope hmm got any ammo for me no you do not oh you do have some uh, 223 is the gun I'm about to go get, is that correct? Maybe we should get some of this. Actually, which kind is that? Full metal jacket? What is that? Is that... Like, JHP is anti-flesh, right? And AP obvi is obviously, uh... Armor piercing? What is, what is the FMJ for? All purpose? All 223 is full metal jacket. Alright then. Uh, how much is a stack? Okay. No! Let's see, how much can I... Where's that armor? Uh... Why don't I just buy a lot of ammo? How many caps did she have again? There they are, about 1,400. Um, all right, well, this would... Let's see. Wait, is that the most I can ask for in one lump? Oh, okay. Oh, I don't want to do math right now. Uh, let's just step our way up. 
pretty close. All right. All right, that seems fair. All right. Seems like a good trade. Maybe I should get more ammo. I don't know, but glance at chat and make sure I'm not screwing anything up here. Okay. All right. That felt productive. I'm still kind of loaded down, like way more than I would like. Should I sell this hunting rifle? What does that shoot? Also 223, huh? It seems like I've got pretty good range on small arms because my skill is so high. So maybe I don't need to worry about long guns. Trade with Jacob, sell the rifle and some extra pistols. Man, I don't know. I've got so many cool pistols, though. And what if I run out of bullets for one? Then I need to shoot another one. I do have a lot of guns, to be fair. 10 mil, 14. They have to be fairly light, don't they? Anyway, let's go finish this quest. I did teach the Raiders a lesson that they will never forget. Oh, it's a rifle? Uh, did I get the thing? It's kind of weird when receiving items does not show up in the log. Oh, that didn't wait. Weird. He called it a rifle, but it appears to be a pistol. That's a cool looking pistol. <laughs> Murder by death says he calls it a rifle because it's implied he cut off the barrel. I see. Uh, wow. That's quite good. Does not hold a lot of shots. Um... Also, am I blind? How many AP does that take? Five. Okay. Man, give anything if I can get to 10 AP. Uh, anyway, why don't I just put this pistol away for now? Can't play without 10 agility myself. Yeah, I know this has come up before, but am I anywhere near being able to get that last ag? I think people have said it is possible at some point. I mean, I can wait. It's not like I need it right now, but it sure would be nice to be able to get it eventually. Brotherhood, right. Yes. Uh, where was that other weapons dealer? He was over here. All right, maybe next week I will head for the Brotherhood because uh... Oh, wow, what? Oh, this is even better. Vector says, get to level 9 and you won't even need any extra AP. You can get the perk that reduces ranged attacks by 1 AP. That seems insanely good. Why not both? Hmm. Oh, what? That's... Holy shit. Twisted Operator says that's basically the pistol the ghoul uses in the show. I did not realize that. That's fucking rad. Now I'm extra glad I went to get it. 
man, I miss that show. Which I think about 90% means I miss Walton Goggins, but anyway. <laughs> um... I liked pretty much everything about that show. Um, hmm. All right, let's at least, how much money? Oh wait, did this guy have money on him? He doesn't, does he? Uh, people were talking about drugs that give you better stats, like buff out, but I assume that's pretty temporary, right? Um, yeah, he has no money. I guess I could get, like, how much is a super stem pack worth? What else does he have? Do I need to be worrying about, like, Rad X and Rad Away right now? Can't remember what mint hats do. Oops, hold still. Hmm. Increases memory related functions. Is that like up certain skills for skill checks or something? Rad X is for taking before. I guess Rad Away is after you're irradiated, right? Okay, I don't know if I need to worry about any of this right now. Hmm. Should I? Ah, maybe. Should I, should I get like a. Uh, Wow, that's quite pricey. Maybe not. Um, hmm. Maybe one super stem pack would be good to have. They don't seem like they heal all that much. Uh, all right. Where is my money? Oh wait, what was I doing? There we go. All right. I know y'all said I should sell some pistols, but maybe not yet. Uh, all right. I don't know if we have time to get into another quest or not. Uh, let me go check in with... I might be able to start one. What was that lady's name? Was it the 3rd and 17th of every month or just April? Let's go see if they're even still... Uh, willing to work with me at this point after kind of blowing off their mission for a month does time even really matter in this game now that I've solved that the one big time constrained thing uh, alright oh it is, it is every month okay all right, sure. Why don't we just wait this one out and at least get into this? How about I just stand motionless in the middle of town for three days? Uh, what's the fastest way to pass multiple days? Hey. Okay. a great image. Oh, rescue Tandy. Yes, shit. That's probably a better thing to do right now. I don't know. Vector, Vector seems like they know this game front and back. So I think maybe I'll take that advice.
A lot going on in the hub. Uh, while I make this run, like, I'm trying to think how to ask this without, like, just asking about, hey, how does this game end or whatever, but, like, where am I at in this game story-wise? I'm curious to know. Like, is there a lot more main story, or am I just doing a bunch of side quests? Is, is this mostly just roam around and do the little plot lines that you find at this point? Like, is there a lot more main stuff to do? Uh, also, I'm not sure if I have the location for Tandy. Should I just go back to Shady Sands? Oh boy. Hmm. I guess I could try out this cruiser of a gun. The head. All right. Uh. <laughs> the thing does some work. It seems. Well, this is fun. Oh, don't shoot me, please. All right, cool. Good stuff. Um... Oh, wait, am I? Oh, damn it. I didn't even notice that wasn't working. Oh, come on. Let me pick your pocket. Uh, how about you take... And I am going to have to sell some of these guns, aren't I? Ah. <sighs> Oh, those tails are just very heavy, I forgot. Maybe not worth actually picking up every tail I find at this point, I'm guessing. I know I can turn them into antidotes and sell those for a decent amount. Alright, is that it for tails? Alright. Um, I think I've asked this before. Is there a renewable source of ammo in this game? Like, if I keep getting uh, money, can I keep buying more 223 forever? Or does every vendor run out eventually? Can I tap this game out of 223 ammo? I guess is what I'm asking. Oh, is that, the, is that where Tandy is? That might be right. Sounds like yes. Uh, vendors restock, sounds like. That's good to know. All right. Oh, have I been here? I've been here before, right? I'm pretty sure I just came here like my first or second stream. Like probably the first one, actually. This might be the first location I ever went to. Mm, the inhabitants look dirty and mean. All right. Do I want to party? That's a good question. Wait, does it need to be daytime? Before I parlay... Ah. All right, well, that was easy enough. Oh, that's her, isn't it? That's her. Shit. Mmm. Oh, that's her. There, okay, shit. Um. 
Am I just going to have to shoot my way through this? Told to save. Didn't I save when I got here? I think. Hmm. Oh no! Well, this is happening. Maybe I just kill their leader and everybody else will just run away in fear. Alright. That's an incredible animation. Come on, dog. Do it. Get him. Alright. Oh my god. <laughs> Garl was critically hit in the groin. Man, this guy's got some hit points. Jeez. Everybody's missing. On. Dude, I cannot believe this guy's still up. What am missing going on here? These guys kind of seem like chumps, actually. All right, goodbye. Or Gwen. You've cast your lot with the wrong crowd. <laughs> mm, that's a spear guy, right? Who's this? Mm. Why can I not... Oh god, right, this thing has like no ammo. I have to reload it all the time. Right. Uh, what's the button to cycle? Combat. Options. It's in. Yes. Mm. Alright. <laughs> Handled that. Got a hell of a wrecking crew here, I feel like. back to not attacking again, and I'm not clear why. It's kind of annoying, though. There he goes. Weird. Bye, I guess. I assume it doesn't matter if she gets away. Um, hmm. Tycho can handle himself down there. Are these even... These are prisoners, right? Actually, I don't think I can help Tycho because he's in the door. off my dog. Fucker. That's right.
Hmm. Oh crap, I can't. Mm. Wait, why not? Am I too far? She's gonna get away, isn't she? Boo. Worth pursuing her. Okay, I'm not clear why I can't shoot her. Uh, anyway. Oh, god damn it. Forgot I was still on the bats mode. That sucks. Great. Well, she's gone. Did she have anything good? She was a named uh, NPC. Probably doesn't matter. Unless somebody says it does. Hmm... Raider, right? That's not Ian. <laughs> this is getting confusing, actually. Is that Ian? I kind of wish the companions had unique sprites in this and didn't just look like enemies. a bad guy. Oops. Hmm. Uh, that's a long shot. Be careful here. Uh, somebody was saying you can just stem out of your inventory. How do you do that? Is it this hand? Oh, that's a move. That one? Aha! Hmm. I'm yeah, probably good. Critically hitting the right arm. Oops. Wait, is that Ian? Oh, my God. Holy shit. He shot me earlier, so I thought it was a fucking enemy. <laughs> oh wow, I really should have looked at chat. <laughs> have I aggroed him now, or is he shooting at people over here? What is going on? Because he's still shooting me. Oh 
Okay, I think he's just pissed now. Oh man, I'm tempted to start this over. <laughs> this is going very bad. I'm, I'm, I am confused because the only reason I started shooting him was because he shot me first, but I don't know who he was shooting at. Oh, he was shooting at the prisoners running away? What the fuck, man? Like, I just assumed he would not be doing that because who would shoot the fucking prisoners <laughs> as they try to flee? What the fuck, man? He's probably about to kill me. I'm dead. That could have gone better. All right. Your life ends in the wasteland. That was a bummer. I don't know if there actually were any leather jacket dudes in there, but I thought I saw one when I came in. Uh, followers in this game don't have any logic. They just attack anything. That's good to know. Good to know. Anyway, it's a calamitous place to leave it, I think, for this week. Uh, I've got to save right at the beginning of that encounter, so... Uh, it will not be a big deal at all to uh, just... Oh, that's the wrong. There we go. It will not be a big deal to uh, uh, pick it right back up there next time and hopefully do a better job of that fight. Or it sounds like there's a speech check in there, so maybe I can just talk my way through it, but I kind of want to see what that dude has on him. Uh, anyway, thanks for joining me. It's been nice to get back to this game. I feel like we're making some progress. We've got some good stuff on me now. Perhaps too much good stuff. I should probably sell some guns next time, but uh, we're just in it. You know, we're just playing through Fallout 1. Excited to see the rest of this uh, as we make our way through. Thanks for joining me. We'll be back um, tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pacific with what looks to be black and white. I haven't looked at that poll today, but there's virtually no chance that poll has changed at this point. I spent the morning getting black and white working, which takes some doing. Uh, that game was never modernized for a Windows newer than XP. So, uh, anyway, I think I got it. Uh, so we'll be back bossing a monkey around or a giant cow and flinging some villagers into the sea, which should be fun. I loved that game when it came out. Uh, See if I still love it. Uh, anyway, thanks for joining me. This has been Fallout. Uh, I will see you next time. As I hit some buttons here. And say goodbye.